Hey guys, this is going to be the third part of my video tutorial. In this um, here, I would mainly focusing on the IOC container, specifically Castlewinger. That's what I'm using here for my uh, controller. So um, this very first thing, of course, you have to do is you have to get a download while right, using this. Of course, I have already done so, but I'm basically saying use the manage new git package manager. Go there and search for a search for the Castle Windsor, and that's basically go ahead and install into your project. Once that is all done, everything starts. Everything starts from here. Okay, I, I have a couple of folder that I would like to let's say, if it is IOC related or if it's infrastructure related, whatever it is then it, w it will be in their one folder that way it's easier to remember so I have this little IOC and in, in there I have a class called Windsor Controller Factory well even before that you know like let's go into our global.asx file and see how to uh, configure a Castle Windsor this uh, as you know you know as a sp.nbc this is where well whether in, even in the web form this is where the application start all the code so i have this little method called bootstrap containers it i basically followed the, the example in their documentation okay and i have this little private static static field right here called container and basically, I am saying, okay, go ahead and create instance of winter container container object. That when, and I would like to, from this assembly, referring to the assembly that this assembly right here, fic help mbc. Uh, this is how I create the create the instance of the container, and call install method on it. Once all that is created, basically. I have this class called Windsor Controller Factory. That factory in its constructor takes the kernel provided by this Windsor container. So, um, and then basically now I have to build a controller. This it has this is ASV done in MBC. Control builder has a current uh, property into it. I basically inject into it into this uh, with this new controller factory here. This is all I have to do in the, in the web config file. That's that's of course you know. Then then you need to know what this one is, of course, right? Then let's go into that. Look at into that class here. See, as I told you here, basically um, I was injecting the kernel into this well. I was I was passing this kernel into the constructor, so this private field is set now, right? And then, does remember the like, most important thing is this one, right? This guy right here. Most of the IOC container they have to they have to tap into this, you know, either interfaces or abstract classes and override some of the method provided by the infrastructure. In this case, ASP.NET MVC. This default controller factory is uh, is uh, is coming out from the MVC, right? And it, if you look at it, uh, if you look it into the signature of this class, you will see um, see bunch of virtual method right here. Virtual create controller. This the cool thing about this one is like, look at this. If you from based on the context and the controller name, you can create a uh, create a controller. See, it's written a uh, uh, interface called I controller because. Um, if you if you go deeper into let me let me show you what I mean. Let's say if you go into any controller, and then this all of them basically implement this abstract controller, right? If you go into here, this is an abstract class, and now if I go to a base controller base that is also an abstract and behind and finally look at this guy controller base. This guy is basically creating a, a interface i controller. That's what they that's what we're trying to trap. That's what they're basically tapping into most of the IOC container that they try to integrate with ASP.NBC. Okay. I was talking about this winter. Okay. So this is now very easy. So now git controller. So basically we override this method, git controller instance. And we're basically saying, hey, if you have the controller type, if this controller type 
type is opposite that we, we that we are trying to create instance of. If it is null, bam, we cannot create instance of that one. Otherwise, we are giving this responsibility of creating the instance of controller to the kernel. To, so this kernel knows how to this object knows how to resolve the control that comes in, and just return the interface. Inter, you know, the, in, return that object to the caller. That is so sweet. That is the, f the second thing you have to do, and then the there is uh, um, the I will talk about installer. I have a two installer here. The idea about installer, you could have you could be a multiple installer in this project. I don't have like a service layer code. If you have a services, maybe you can create an installer for services, installer for your um, I don't know, maybe your infrastructure or your business rule or, or DAO repository install or whatever. It could be it's totally up to you how you're gonna implement this feature, right? And let's look at into controller installer. What this installer now knows at runtime is that okay whenever so to you can say that the lifetime it, 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 there is a lot of feature in IOC you can say with a poor web request wh whether it should be transient or whatever that you can do it from here for any so basically trying to map any 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 object that ha that implements i controller interface their life cycle should be a transient that's what this code trying to say and next thing i have to do before i can use this dependency index on into my controller I have to do a DA repository installer here. Basically the same idea. Let me close this side here so that I'll have enough space. So, you know, basically a DA repository installer, basically, you know, this implement this interface. Once you implement this interface, you can, you know, you can work on the install method. So here I'm saying, I'm registering my, con uh, of course this IOC, this container has to know, if you ask me of my so some interface, which concrete type to provide, right? So this one is saying right here, hey component, if there is a request for, for, for a um, I establishment category repository, repository object, go ahead and provide the instance of this guy. This guy knows because this guy implement that interface. Exactly the same idea. This establishment uh, and then of course this location repository for the I establishment location repository provide that. So whatever interface you ask, I this container now knows the concrete the class that basically implement that interface. Okay, that is all you have to do in terms of con in terms of configuration. Okay. Now okay, now we got a configuration all done, but what's the next thing? It's all good the configuration, but like now we now need to know how to use it. Very cool. Now you know we are um, into that section. Let's go. Let's visit our controller here. Um, I'm gonna start with the 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 establishment controller. See the cool thing now. All these are now is is just a private read-only field here, and all of them are exposed as a as an interface. And then this all here is all all of I'm using the something called constructor injection. So basically, you know, um, this is my constructor. Into constructor, I have you know whenever somebody this forces them to use this constructor. I mean, like basically, you need to provide. You, you know, like you have to call this constructor that takes all these different five different parameters here, and then I set all my properties here in the constructor. This is all I have to do, and of course, you know, um, of course, imagine like how much work you have to do in the absence of IOC container. All of these objects, you have to create an instance of all these objects right here. What that means is like this class is doesn't really care how those objects that it has dependency is created. It's created by some as you can it doesn't really even care, okay? That's very sweet. I mean you know as of course you know like in the beginning you probably a small application you must assume like how why you have to do so much configuration, blah blah as you like in real life, you know, we are not dealing with this little application our our 
uh, you know, we would have a code base of, you know, like millions of code in the project and thousands of